Um, hey everyone, uh, this is Disney 65 and here. Um, judging by my voice, I have a cold, so apologies for that. Um, since we are drawing the end of 2021, I have a list of movies I've seen this year. Some of them are shows, some of them are like made for TV movies. Um, I'm gonna give my thoughts on them and what I didn't like about them. Um, so without further ado, let's dive in. Now this is in no particular order. So, um, let's dive in and see what, let's see, okay. Um, first up is Shanghai Chang Cho and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I gave a 6 out of 10. I thought it was a good movie. Um, it came out in Disney Plus there about a week ago. Um, it was cool to see a Chinese Marvel movie, so that's a plus. Uh, Red Notice, which is the latest Netflix movie, um, I gave that a 6 out of 10. It's kind of a ho-ho-hum. There's parts that I did like and parts I didn't like about it. Um, but I still enjoyed it, though. I mean, Dwayne Johnson is, is great. Ryan Reynolds cracks me up. Gal Gadot, she plays a Wonder Woman. Um, she's in this movie, too, as one of the spies. Um, I thought it was good. Uh, tick Tick Boom. Uh, this one surprised me an awful lot because it had Andrew Garfield um, in his singing debut and boy can he sing. Um, I gave a 7 out of 10. Um, I thought he was a good um, singer and Vanessa Hutchins who was in High School Musical Trilogy is also in this movie. Um, it's based on a true story um, called Jonathan Larson I think his name is. Um, who, you know, he passed away, as you may know, he passed away at a young age. And, um, yeah, it was a good movie. Uh, a Castle for Christmas. This movie, I gave a 6 out of 10. It kind of reminded me of The Beautician and the Beast with, uh, Fran Drescher and Timothy Dalton. I don't know why, but kind of did. Um, it had Brooke Shields in it and Kerry Elways, who had that, who has this, like, Scottish accent. And he owns this, like, big, this castle. Um, you pretty much know what happens in the movie. I gave a 6 out of 10. Uh, Love Hard, which I gave a 6 out of 10 to as well. Um, this movie came out from Netflix, as well as A, cast, a castle for Christmas and Tick Tick Boom. Um, this one had Nina Dobry, Jimmy O. Yang, Darren Barnett and James Salto. Um... It's about this girl who is catfished by a guy and she falls in love with the catfish. Um, yeah, it's predictable, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, Free Guy. This is probably my favourite film of 2021, my honest opinion. Um, it was funny. It was heartfelt. Uh, Ryan Reynolds cracks me up. Um, his chemistry with Jodie Comer was really good as well. Um, I also like the fact that they used Paper Man's score, which is a short from Pixar. The minute I heard that score, I thought it was really, really good um, and really, really clever. So, yeah, Free Guy is a really good movie. I gave it a 7 out of 10. Uh, Black Widow. This is kind of a flashback movie on Black Widow. Um, if you saw Avengers Endgame, you know how her how her um, her uh, story ended and that. Um, I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen um, Avengers Endgame. Well, I'm sure a lot of people did see it. Um, but anyway, I gave this movie a uh, 6 out of 10. It wasn't bad, but the whole flashback thing can be very annoying. So, um, yeah. Home Sweet Home Alone, which is a reboot of Home Alone. It was absolutely terrible. It's probably my worst movie I saw in 2021. It wasn't a patch on the Macaulay Culkin one. So if you... Love the Macaulay Culkin version of Home Alone. Watch that and avoid this one. And I gave this one a 4 out of 10. Uh, Suicide Squad, I gave that a 6 out of 10. Um, I thought it was a good movie. Um, it's kind of like a reboot of the 2016 one. Um, this one has Margaret Robbie in it, Idris Elba, John Cena and Joel Kinnaman. Um, I thought it was a good movie. Uh, Loki, which is a TV show that I saw. I thought that was very good. I gave it a 7 out of 10. Only Mergers in the Building, which is a TV show as well. Um, I thought it was very, very good. And I gave it a 7 out of 10. Um, Jungle Cruise. This one um, was a bit of a surprise. Um, it has like Dwayne Johnson, Emilia Blunt, Edgar Ramirez and Jack Whitehall. 
Whitehall. Um, it's about it's based on this game. This was well, not a game. It's based on this um, uh, theme park um, ride, and it's there's a lot of twists and turns in it. Um, I thought it wasn't bad. And I gave it a six out of ten. Um, there's a lot of twists and turns in that movie. So yeah. One Division. Um, this is a TV show, by the way. I gave it an eight out of ten. I thought it was a very clever show. Um, it surprised me. There was like a twist in that show, One Division, and I did not see it coming. And I thought it was really, really clever. So I gave it an eight out of ten. Corella, which is the latest um remake of 101 Dalmatians. It's like Maleficent. It focuses on Corella, like how she became. The person she is and why she does it. Um, Emma Stone, she nailed it out of the park. Uh, Emma Thompson, who plays the villain in this movie, she was great too as the Baroness. Um, and I gave a seven out of ten. Uh, Zack Schneider's Justice League. This is the extended cut of Justice League, which came out in 2017, and this one is on for a whole and four hours. Yeah, you heard that right. It's on for four hours. And I, um, it's broken down like six parts. Um, I thought it was a very good movie, and I gave it a seven out of ten. Uh, Christmas again, which I saw, um, about yesterday, which was the thirteenth of December. Um, it's a good sh movie. Um, I enjoyed it, and I gave it a six out of ten. And so the director, I believe, who directed, she's the man. So I thought it was a good movie. Dear Evan Hansen, um, this movie got a lot, a lot of hate. I thought it wasn't that bad. Um, it's got M Amy Adams, Julianne Moore, uh, Ben Platt, who plays this seventeen-year-old. Sorry if you hear my dogs back, um, back in the background. Um, it's a full-blown musical based on a Broadway sh musical with the same name, and features the guy who plays Evan Hansen. There was a lot of uproar in this because he plays this like. Is he 18, I think, and he, he's a 27-year-old man, and he was in the original one and this one, and I got a lot of hate. I thought it wasn't too bad, so I got a 6 out of 10. Uh, Reminiscence. This one had Hugh Jackman, Rebecca Ferguson, and it's kind of like, it's a sci-fi movie about this guy who's in love with this girl, and he kind of like, it's kind of like Inception. If to not give it too much away, it's like Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, Ellen Page. So if you've seen that movie, you pretty much know what's going to happen with that. I gave it 5 out of 10. I thought it wasn't too bad. Luca, which is a Pixar movie, um, I gave it 7 out of 10. I thought it was very, very good. Um, there's a lot of heart. There's, it's very heartwarming. Um, and the animation was really, really good as well and I loved it. Uh, Halloween Kills. Okay, this one was a surprise. Um, I'm not even into horror films, but I wanted to see it and see what it was about. Um, there's a lot of twists and turns in it. Um, I gave it a 6 out of 10. It's the prequel to Halloween, the reboot, um, which has, of course, Jamie Lee Curtis reprising a role as Lauren. And um, it has Judy Greer in it and James Jude Courtney. Um, I thought it wasn't bad. There's a lot of gore in it though, so if you're not into gore, avoid this one. But I gave it a 6 out of 10. Uh, Rhea and the Last Dragon. Um, this one has Aquafina, Kelly Marie Tran and Isaac Wang. I thought it was a very good movie. Um, it kind of reminded me of that movie that came out in the 80s it's called The Last Unicorn. So if you've seen that movie, you know what it's about. But I gave it a 7 out of 10. I thought it was good. Um, Space Jam A New Legacy. This one was a very big disappointment for me. Um, I loved the original Space Jam, but this one didn't have the heart of the first one. Um, I got a 6 out of 10. Um, so yeah, uh, LeBron James, he plays like this, like Michael Jack, Mike, not Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. He's a basketball player and he ends up in this like Wreck-It Ralph inspired World, um, which is owned by Don Cheadle, who plays the villain in this movie. So, yeah. Uh, Cinderella. Yes, you heard that correct. There was another Cinderella movie. As if we hadn't enough of them. This one has a Camila Cabello in her movie debut, and Edina Menzel, and Billy Porter, and Bike was so bad. Um, for starters, it's like a jukebox movie, so it's like all these 
songs from current artists like Am I Ron, um, Material Girl. There's even a new song called Dream Girl, which is by Dina Menzel. Yeah, it wasn't a patch on the Lily James one, so I got a 5 out of 10. Um, Till Death, which is a a movie that I saw on Netflix. It has uh, Megan Fox in it. And she plays this woman whose husband commits suicide and she is literally chained up to a dead husband throughout the entire thing. It's a re It was actually really good and I gave it a 7 out of 10. A Kiss Before Christmas, I have that film forgotten. I didn't even know what it was about but I gave it a 5 out of 10. Um, the Woman in the Window, which had Amy Adams and Julianne Moore, who were also in Dear Evan Hansen. Um, Amy Adams plays this girl, woman who witnesses this, a murder and she has to kind of figure out like who killed who. Um, it's also got Gary Oldman as well and Anthony Mackel and the guy Wyatt Russell, who is Kurt Russell's son. Um, yeah. The Last Letter from Your Lover, um, this one was a surprise, um, it has Shelley Woodley in it, Joe Aylwin and Felicity Jones and it's kind of like The Longest Ride, without giving too much away, so if you saw The Longest Ride, you pretty much love this movie. Tom and Jerry, this one was a disappointment, I gave it a 3 out of 10, I thought it was crap. Um, it's got Chloe Grace Mraz, Michael Pina and Colin Just, who was Scott Johansson's third husband by the way. Um, yeah, it's not a patch in the cartoon version of Tom and Jerry, and I thought it was a big disappointment. He's All That, which is a reboot of She's All That with Rachel Lee Cook, who was Austin's version, and uh, Matthew Leonard. This time, it's about a guy who is the, the, the nerd who turns into this prom king, and this girl who's like a big like social media influencer. She's like into TikTok. Addison Ray is in this as well. And they gave a 5 out of 10. Sweet Girl. This one was a big surprise. And they gave a 5 out of 10. It's got Jason Moma, Isabel Mercent. And it's about this um, uh, guy who seeks revenge on his wife. His wife gets killed. And it's himself and his daughter. And there is a big, huge twist in it, which I did not see coming. And when I saw the twist, I was like, oh my God. Are you for real? So, yeah. Coming to America. Um, this one I gave a 7 out of 10. It's the sequel to Coming to America, which has Eddie Murphy, Arsenal Hall, Sherry Heedley. I thought it was a very good movie. And this time it's about this, the prince, um, played by Eddie Murphy, who realizes he's got a son from a previous relationship. And you pretty much know what happens. In it. It's like Shrek the Third. So if you saw Shrek the Third... You pretty much like this movie. Um, what else? I'm Your Man. Um, this one is a German movie which had, which has Dan Stevens speaking German throughout the entire thing. It's kind of like that movie with Robin Williams, Bicentennial Man, um, where you've got this android who has emotions and this girl has to ha have him for like a month and she kind of slowly falls in love with him. Um, it was a good movie, if you can understand German, because I'm not fluent in German. Um, but I thought it was a good movie, like I was 5 out of 10. My Little Pony. Yes, I am not the demographist movie. I saw it on Netflix, and I thought it was a good movie. Um, I thought it was a cute film, and I got a 6 out of 10. And it's got Felissa Hudgens, Sophia Carson, and James Marsden is in this movie as well. Uh, music. This one was the worst. You thought that Tom and Jerry was bad, and the other movie I thought was bad as well. Um, yeah, music is just terrible. Um, why did Kate Hudson, this why did Kate Hudson star in this movie? I may not know. It was a pure insult to autistic people. So God bless ye. Um, I thought it was absolutely terrible. Um, it's directed by Sia. In her musical movie debut, sorry, and it was just bad from start to finish. I thought it was terrible, and I gave it a three out of two out of ten. Thunder Force. I thought it wasn't a bad film, and I gave it a six out of ten. It's got Octavia Spencer, and Melissa McCartney, and Jason Bateman, and Bobby Calvini, Canville. I thought it was a, wasn't a bad film. I gave it a six out of ten. 
Fatherhood, um, I got about a 7 out of 10. It's about this man played by Kevin Hart who lost his wife and he's to rear his daughter on his own. I thought it was a very good movie and I got about 7 out of 10. Royally Wrapped for Christmas. This movie's forgettable. Um, it's got that guy who looks like a, a, looks like the Ken doll. Um, he was in A Christmas Kiss. Um, I got about 5 out of 10. Wish Dragon, which was a rip-off of Aladdin. I thought it wasn't bad. I got about 5 out of 10. Afterlife of the Party, which is a Netflix movie with uh, the girl from Victoria, Victoria's Victoria Justice. I thought it was a nice movie. I did shed a few tears here and there, and I gave a 6 out of 10. Yesterday, which I thought was hilarious, it's got Jennifer Garner and Jenna Ortag. I gave a 7 out of 10. I thought it was funny. It kind of rem reminded me of that movie, Alexander and the Horrible, Terrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. The Kiss and Boots 3, I thought it was terrible. I gave a 5 out of 10. Resort to Love, gave that a 6 out of 10. A Week Away, which has Bailey Madison in it, I thought it was really bad, I gave a 4 out of 10. Flora and Eustace, I have that forgotten, I gave a 6 out of 10 anyway, so it must have been good. A Cinderella Story, Starstruck, um, I gave that a 6 out of 10. Um, I'm going to skip that, I don't know. Uh, Under Wraps, which is a remake of Under Wraps, which came out in the 90s, and um, about these these um, pre-teens who befriend this mummy. Um, yeah, I gave it a 5 out of 10. Fit for a Prince, I gave it a 6 out of 10. Squared Love, which was so bad. It's a Polish um, romantic comedy and it's dubbed in English and it's so bad at dubbing. The movie overall is just terrible. Um, the Wedding Ring, I gave it a 3 out of 10. Um, I actually had that forgotten. It was predictable and I gave it a 3 out of 10. Um, yeah, so any other movies I've seen. Um, I don't know. Yeah, and that's pretty much what I saw in um, 2021. Um, so yeah, that's my quick um, thoughts. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite film of 2021 and your worst one. And uh, till next time, take care.